Hey, is that folk music there you play there? What is that? How do you call that folk music? <laughs> I think it was Stud Circle who asked Big Bill Brunzi, did he consider his blues music to be folk music? And Big Bill says, well, I never heard, heard no horse <laughs> song for anybody whose job has ever required them to stay up all night. Ooh, it's a working night. Turn on the radio. Midnight oil is shining bright. We've got hours to go. You and me and the night shift nurses, the clerks at the convenience store, making do and working through the longest hours of the 24. We can't sleep till we've earned our daily bread And we live on coffee till sleep is dead When the coffee's all gone, we will live on music We will live on music alone Ooh, it's a working night, midnight minutes run We've all got so much to do before we see the sun you and me and the cab dispatchers, the long haul truckers on the road. Freight trains moan a mournful tone as they bear the heavy load. We can't sleep till we've earned our daily bread and we live on coffee till sleep is dead. When the coffee's all gone, we will live on music. We will live on music alone. Crews, the slackers under a deadline with no more time to lose. When the local stations turn to snow, we get the BBC on the radio. On the other side of the world, they're making tomorrow's news. We can't sleep till we've earned our daily bread. We live on coffee till sleep is dead. And when the coffee's all gone, we will live on music. We will live on music alone. Dark is wearing thin. We all stop to catch our breath before the birds begin. You and me and the brand new parents, the crisis hotline volunteers, gaze at the sky with wandering eyes. It's another day, and we're still here. We can't sleep till we've earned our daily bread, and we live on coffee till sleep is dead. When the coffee's all gone, we will live on music. We will live on music alone. We're keeping watch and holding steady, cleaning up and making ready, stealing hours from the night, counting down until the light. Keeping watch and holding steady, cleaning up and making ready, stealing hours from the night. Show is Horses Sing None of It. My name is Ralph Litwin, and our guest is singer-songwriter 
Zoe Mulford, welcome to the show. So nice to be here, Ralph. That is a great song. I wrote that while my husband was writing his dissertation. So he was the one burning the midnight aisles. Uh, yeah, well, we're both guilty of that from time to time. But uh, the song took about 12 years to write, and it was done before the dissertation. But they're both done now, so. Congratulations. <laughs> When I was a teenager, I once worked as a security guard overnight. Mm. Yeah. Uh, the line about the inventory takers is, is actually from my own work experience. I, I was not an inventory taker, but I was the person in the grocery store who made the signs. And there were a couple of times when we had to change over all the signs in one night. Um, we would be up all night. Sometimes we would trip over the inventory takers. What else do you have for us? This is a song with a lot of names in it. And uh, they've all been changed for political reasons. So if you hear yours come around, please don't take it personally. Um, but you may recognize some of these people if you've, if you've ever been involved in a nonprofit organization or um, a church or a school board or um, if you have family or coworkers. Or, if you don't recognize anybody in this song, turn off the television right now and go out and get a life. <laughs> let's talk, let's have a little talk, let's have a little heart to heart. Maybe a talk about talks about talks, if that's where it has to start. Cause Jane's not talking to Judy and Judy's not talking to Paul. If things go on like this around here, won't be nobody talking at all. Now Sam's not talking to Sarah. Sarah's not talking to Zeke. I don't know who Becky's not talking to. It depends on the day of the week. And Amy made up with Eliza. Now neither one's talking to Jake. And I hear Hank was unguardedly frank and then hit reply all by mistake. Let's talk, let's have a little talk, let's have a little heart to heart. Maybe a talk about talks about talks, if that's where it has to start. Cause Dave's not talking to Donna and Donna's not talking to Paul. If things go on like this around here, won't be nobody talking at all. Now, nobody cares much for Carol, but she sure gets things done. And nobody's too keen on Kevin, but he's been around since day one. And Monica looked like a winner till that whole business with Mike. These people can be like a family to me, but there isn't a one that I like. Let's talk, let's have a little talk, let's have a little heart to heart. Maybe a talk about talks about talks, if that's where it has to start. Cause, oh, what letter have we not done yet? Cause Anne's not talking to Ahmed, and Ahmed's not talking to Paul. If things go on like this around here, won't be nobody talking at all. Now Ken's not talking to Keisha. Keisha's not talking to Lee. Nobody's talking to anyone much, but they all come complaining to me. So I've started talking to strangers, cause it's safer than talking to friends. I'm thinking of walking and maybe not talking to anyone ever again. Let's talk, let's have a little talk, let's have a little heart to heart. Maybe a talk about talks about talks, if that's where it has to start. Cause Jane's not talking to Judy, and nobody's talking to Paul. If things go on like this around here, won't be nobody talking at all. No, sir, nobody talking at all. Oh, no, nobody talking at all. Very clever. That one actually came out of a listserv. Um, 
because folk musicians are spread out all over the place, we do a lot of communicating online. And every, every year somebody gets upset about something and the whole list list sort of melts down for a week or so. And you grew up in Swarthmore, Pennsylvania? I grew up in Swarthmore, Pennsylvania. Um, and about five years ago I moved to England, um, which is where I'm living now. So I've been singing a lot in English folk clubs where um, there are people who will tell you that the microphone and sometimes even the instrument just gets in the way between the singer and the listener. Um, so I've heard a lot of traditional English music now and um, I'm here to report it is all about sex. Um, it seems to date back to the time when folk music was what people had instead of sex education. Uh, so this is this is one that I wrote after hearing an awful lot of English songs that start, you know, kind of like this. As I was a walking one morning in May, I met a young sailor who to me did say, you're a handsome young lass, won't you come out with me and spend a sweet hour beneath the May tree? With me father day da, with me father day dee. But I was a wise maid and so I did say, I won't walk with you on a morning in May, for you'll take your pleasure and go off to sea and leave me a baby to dance on me knee with me father day da with me father day dee. As I was a walking along the highway, I met a young plowman who to me did say, you're a handsome young lass, won't you walk out with me to view the fair fields and the bunny may tree, with me father day da, with me father day dee. But I was a wise maid and so I did say, I like you full well, but me answer is nay. You're too poor to wet me and give me your name, but you'll get me with child and you'll leave me in shame with me father day da, with me father day dee. Oh, I was a wise maid, I took good advice, and the handsome young fellows, they didn't ask twice. I married an old man who kept me right well, and I looked after him till I grew old myself with me father day da, with me father day dee. Now I've buried me husband beneath the may tree, and still I've no baby to dance on me knee. For wisely I courted and wisely I wed, and God how I wish I'd been foolish instead. With me father day da, with me father day dee. That is great. And it sounds so traditional. Oh, you, you spend enough time in the folk clubs, you can kind of pick them out of the air. Uh, the folk clubs are fun because you have, you have all these people who have been getting together, some of them for, for 30 years, you know, every, every Tuesday in the back room of the same pub. And they've all come to sing. So there were some of my songs that I discovered were sing-alongs when I moved to England. I had not known it beforehand. <laughs> we should tell folks how they can find out more information about your recordings and your upcoming well, appearances. Well, I have a website at zoemulford.com. That's Zoe, Z-O-E, Mulford, M-U-L-F-O-R-D. Um, I have a mailing list sign up there so that, um, and if you do sign up on the mailing list, let me know where in the world you are so that um, if you're in Nebraska, I'm not letting you know every time I play in the corner pub in uh, Manchester. And I've been playing on both sides of the Atlantic and um, it's great fun. This is a traditional song. Um, it's, it's normally sung by a man, um, and I, I changed the key so I could play it, and then I changed the tune so I could sing it, and then I changed a couple of pronouns, and that is the folk process in action. I found I was telling an entirely different story. Ain't got no 
the cradle when I'm gone. Well, it's all I can do, and it's all I can say. Gonna send you to my mama, send you to my mama next payday. Send you to my mama next payday. So I saw somewhere your grandmother was a diction teacher? Yeah, yeah, my grandmother studied acting and spent a season in New York and then went back to Hartford, Connecticut and opened up a uh, studio and she taught, she taught speech and speech and acting. And this is, this is interesting to me because um, when I was six years old, I had a pronounced lisp. And this is very bad if your name begins with a Z. Um, and my grandmother took me in hand and gave me diction lessons. And um, now, I, I, I was I was I was working on my bio and trying to think you know what what are the nice things that people have said to me you know do they, do they tell me that I that I tell good stories or that I speak to their hearts and they tell me I have good diction so I was thinking of of putting my tagline singer songwriter with good diction. <laughs> I'd like to do a. Uh, a New Year's song. Wonderful thing about the New Year is um, everybody celebrates it, but nobody agrees on when it is. So if you're properly multicultural, you can get away with doing this song pretty much all year. We can do better than that. Now the season's turn. Welcome in another year and let the old one burn. Build up the bonfires, light the candles bright. All the hungry spirits will be coming by tonight. Light the bonfires, another year is full. Gather friends around you, don't spend the night alone. Sweep out the courtyard to greet the coming year. Lay a handsome table, your visitors are here. Build up the bonfires, now the season's turn. Like the candles cry, I 
about the cooperative label that you're on. Um, the, that is Azalea City Recordings. It's based in Tacoma Park, Maryland. And uh, it's a bunch of artists who all got together and decided to put out their work on one label so that um, we get a little bit more name recognition, particularly around the DC area. Um, it's a very diverse group and all the work of running the label is done by the artists. Um, I have released three albums with them over time. Um, the latest is called Bonfires, and that's the source of the song I just did. Um, the song is called Welcome In Another Year, uh, so that people would know it was a New Year's song, um, but it gave the album its title. Great, and they can find out more information um, at zillymulford.com. They can. Um, and Azalea City also has a website at azaleacityrecordings.com. Great. What do you have for us? We have about five minutes. Well, I was wondering if you'd play some harmonica with me, Ralph. Sure. This is a song, this is also from the Bonfires album. Um, I was thinking, ooh. Oh, we want to put it there, right. Ah, so one of, one of the hazards of um, hanging around with folk musicians is that you start writing songs about folk musicians and about folk songs. Um, bouncing back and forth between the US and the UK, I've been noticing a lot of place names and thinking a lot about place names. Um, I meet all these guys who have gone to great lengths to learn American songs and um, have spent hours practicing the music of Mississippi John Hurt in their parlors in Cheshire. You listen to American songs with um, a foreign ear and you realize that they're all about the map. All these exotic American place names, Buffalo, Abilene and Galveston and San Francisco. And even if you've never been to some of these places, they just have so much magic and they, they're portrayed so vividly in these songs. So I was thinking about that, particularly driving around England. You know, they, they, they also have wonderful place names in England, but they're, they're not the same. You, you cannot write a good blues song about dorking. It, <laughs> it just doesn't work or thirsk, spittle, licky in. Never a drifter, a drinker, a gambler, boxcar rider, roll the rambler. Never saw Lake Poncha train or cross the Rio Grande. He lived in one town all his life raised his kids and he loved his wife but he could take you anywhere with a guitar in his hands and all of the songs were road songs he knew we're just passing through and they were love songs they all were love songs Way he'd sing them for you. His voice was 
his teeth and rode for his crop, and his hands were big and scarred and tough, and exquisitely gentle with babies and guitars. The big wool jacket, black and red, he wore in his workshop out in the shed, always smelled of wood smoke and snow and winter stars, and all of the songs were old songs. He 